12 days of fall camp, how would you just judge where you guys are at right now? Um, pleased with our progress. There's a, a lot of improvement, both individually and collectively. Uh, we got a long ways to go, though. It's, Jeff said stack one, get 1% 1 better every day. Stack good days after good days. What do you feel like today was your 1% better? Yeah, it was solid. You know, we had, um, we're trying to address a lot of specifics. I think Coach Landing's been doing an awesome job putting us through a lot of situations and taxing us. So I think um, we got a, a chance to improve if, if we can put ourselves in a lot of situations that are going to actually uh, occur on game day. So that's our goal. And um, pleased with the guys the way uh, they're responding to those situations. Um, and then it's also obvious that we got a lot, a long ways to go and some things to improve on. One scrimmage under your belt, where are you looking to get the better the most going through Saturday? We need to get better everywhere. There's no doubt. So, you know, we're going to address it of, of the how and not just say get better. Um, but I think, um, you know, seeing our group overall um, and their commitment to being elite competitors, you know, we've got a, good, a bunch of guys that are committing to be mentally and physically tough. And um, what I'm starting to see over here after a few weeks now is the leadership start to rise. And that's, that's awesome because we need that, you know. And we see it uh, through individuals. And, and specific units where leadership starts to arise and people are really reacting to that. Is there anyone that surprised you in that leadership role who you didn't think necessarily coming in that they were going to step up and have one of those voices, but they really have for you? No, you know, I think what was what's necessary being a, a new staff and, um, you know, we're not, we're not going to really put much on the past and feedback from others. So kind of more so an open stage for um, anyone in that role if you work your butt off. Um, off the field and on the field, you're going to gain respect from your teammates. So putting those individuals to, to be comfortable enough to lead, um, and uh, I think that's what's starting to happen here. The last time that we talked to you, you talked about how your defense, you were proud of the way that they finished, but the way they started, you, you didn't really like. Are you starting to see a little bit more consistency from them in those plays? Um, yeah, I think we're, we're attempting to still do that. You know, I think uh, today was a good example where it was a full batted day. You know, there were some moments right there where, um, you know, I think again it all it, it all um, rises with the leadership within and seeing some individuals step up in some moments on, you know, um, rep number six or seven of a of a fast paced tempo type period. You know, that's that's where it gets exciting to see. You know, from the sideline where guys are able to step up and still communicate. You know, and and um, instead of the communication get isolated, you start to see that leadership rise and and putting a more premium on communication, which is going to allow us to uh, function at the highest level. Who are some of those players that have kind of stepped up in that regard? Yeah, I think, um, you know, Jeff Bassa stands out as a guy that's attempting to, to communicate better. Um, we had a great rep from um, um, Brian Anderson, you know, out there that um, same thing where he's demanding, you know, um, if we got a, if we're in a, you know, a specific defense and, we shouldn't be, you know, to re-communicate us, re-communicate it and get us in the correct call. To go back a couple of years, Tosh, how aware were you personally of, of Triquez and being the you know state leader in interceptions at Alabama when you were still DC there at 2A Lynette and now here's this player four years later and, and what he could mean to you? Just what were you seeing in the change from him from what you saw as a high school senior and junior to what he is now? Yeah, I knew of him. Um, it was quite a while ago, you know, so. He was just a youngster then, um, but uh, he's he's someone I love being around, love his presence, and um, you know uh, he's got some length, he's got some speed, and and what you love about him is he's got some versatility. So you know he's somebody that can that can play um, multiple positions, just like we're asking him to do right now, and I think he's taking that challenge on and embracing it, and, and um, you know taxing himself mentally. Who, who first met Dan? Uh, yeah, that was that, that was our first acquaintance acquaintance when he was at Alabama. I know that it was at your wedding when Sophia first really kind of began experiencing a lot uh, with with the leg and the knee. How have you seen since you're obviously very close to him over the years? Just how have you seen that that period kind of change then? I think uh, you know Dan is someone that embraces um, adversity. Right, and, and truly is a so what, now what individual. You know, that um, he's been through a lot. He, he, you know, there's been times of um, humble beginnings from, and it's an awesome story. So I think you see that every day in him, you know, that he truly does believe 
um, back up his words and every day when he talks about and demands what he wants from our staff that he's he's living that as well right there with you and that's always awesome when you have a head coach that's right in the fire with you um, I think that shows every day you know the adversity that he's overcome from the past it comes out every day he demands a lot out of the players and the staff and ultimately that creates you know the culture that I want to sign up for when you actually know him his story as, as you do when you begin at Bama he's 29 he's a GA you're 31 in, in, in that capacity as an analyst at the time how in your estimation has he gotten to this point at 36 to be one of the youngest head coaches in college football I think um, embracing a growth mindset you know, that's what he's doing every day and um, you know that was a big part of me coming here was knowing what I was um, in store for and coming into and being a part of an environment that's going to constantly challenge myself and um, have that same growth mindset to, you know, not just demand it out of our players, but ourselves and our staff that we all can get better, myself included, and to lead by action. I think I think that's what Dan represents. About two weeks off from the first game, are you starting to crack into some of that Georgia game film and start getting a scheme for your guys? We're, we have such, we got so much more to go just with our own team. Yeah, that's, that, that's really where the focus is, you know, is is um, improving every day on ourselves. So not a lot of talk about that at all. Um, more so just addressing our, our internal issues out on the field, what we need to do to improve. And um, you know, when it gets closer to game week, we'll start ramping it up as far as opponent preparation. Going back to uh, Jeffrey Boss, uh, you talked about yeah, your intensity a little bit. And you know, we've, we've seen it and heard it a lot during practice. Like, and you said that intensity kind of starts sometimes in the meeting room. Is there something you do to kind of get yourself you know, into that mode or hyped up at all? Uh, Get to, that, get to that mode? No, I'm just going to be me. So I'm a passionate individual. I love it. I'm, I'm utterly obsessed with with ball and what I do. And um, so I'm going to, I think it's important that as a coach that you bring juice and energy and it's contagious. So um, I think there's a fine line of, you know, someone that's just being loud and someone that's bringing content. So that's my goal is um, to bring content, but to do it with passion and energy. Tony, Paul, last question. Dorless, the alpha of this defense. Just your opinion of just what kind of value does he bring and what have you seen from him to kind of get that praise from his coach? Uh, I think he's, uh, you know, we've, we've only had about, I think about two weeks now in pads, but he's done everything we've asked of him. Um, you can really see him. Um, he's starting to come into his own here with some confidence. So I think, um, you know, as he really gets the system down. He's another guy with some versatility. So it'll be an individual that will ask to do numerous um, job descriptions from him. Um, I think he embraces it. He studies. He loves it. And I think he wants to play at the next level. So that's important to him.